What's up? It's Jules here for What Culture Gaming, joined by the lovely and rather quite tanned at the Ooh. moment Scott Telford, who has just returned from his honeymoon holiday, and he's back with a vengeance because <laughs> I'm a toasty man. Today, unlike a regular news piece in which we try to divulge a lot of facts to you people and usually get them wrong, today what we're going to do? How dare is, you, sir? Today we're going to be doing something a bit different in the fact that Scott and I are going to be talking about the Switch because yes. the Switch Lite has just been announced, and we have all of the specs now. We have all of the details and things is I don't own a switch I would like to get on board and this to me sounds like the perfect way to get on board but Scott has some thoughts well I do and see the thing is it is a bit of a slow news day so we thought we'd have a bit of a natter <laughs> about the reality of the two switches because yeah. lots of different reports have came out doing side by sides uh, a lot of different uh, specs have been released about the switch itself IGN did a whole thing with Nintendo answering different fan questions revealing that the switch Lite has the same internal space uh, storage as the proper version does 32 gig which, which is surprising to yeah. start with because I would have thought that even by the connotation of the word light that you would expect even less but mm. in, given the tech advances since the switch released and mm -hmm. now i would have actually been expecting a bit more storage i just consider yeah i mean considering that the internal storage is one of the most complained about things yes and some games you can't even install them because the file size will be bigger than the thing that's there you always need to go out and get another memory card um yeah one of the things that i think lets the light down mm. um is that internal memory thing um but just talking to you as a potential new switch owner yes. um one thing that light's going to do better is battery life only by one one extra hour, which is a thing. But that one extra hour means the difference between me being able to go like on a train or a plane or mm -hmm. something like that and be able to like carry on playing. For me, that is a huge, huge incentive. Mm -hmm. Like I know we've all been there in this day of having a basically a personalized computer in your pocket all the time. Running out of battery is the worst thing. So therefore, I would be more inclined to play my Switch more if I felt that it would last longer. Mm, I mean, yeah, so the original Switch had a battery life of estimated between two to six hours, depending on what you're playing. If you're playing Breath of the Wild or Odyssey it would or drain Splatoon, it. just drains the crap out of it. The new one is between three to seven hours. Um, that's so fine, though. That's literally, it's a little bit better. That's literally like any sort of internal domestic UK flight for me. I can go down and see the misses <laughs> and still be playing. Mm -hmm. you know? One of the biggest things that, and the difference, though, is that there's uh, no vibration, there's no motion controls, and you can't mm. Attach the Joy Cons because the initial one of the reasons that I wanted to do this video was that when they announced the Switch Lite and I had that whole thing of like oh you know they've had a, a year or a couple of years to sort of do some improvements mm. maybe the Switch Lite will just definitively be the better console and it kind of isn't because I thought it was going to be but the more I looked into it, it unless you're you know you just want a smaller one to stick in your pocket the vast majority of features are better on the original so don't freak out that the Switch Lite is like better yeah, but that's the whole point it's the Switch Lite I mean mm. and it does lead lead credence to the fact that they're going to be talking about uh, in Introducing the Switch Pro further down the line, that which is, is going to have sort of—I know it is still a rumor, but it definitely seems it. like they would fit in that well because I mean they did the 3DS, 3DS XL, then mm -hmm. they did the 2DS. Like they will put out multiple versions of the Switch mm -hmm. because this product shows that Nintendo were treating the Switch as it is a handheld device. Mm -hmm. We're not going to see any sort of like tribal SP versions, maybe. Oh God, it's, it's open. It's I forgot open. that thing even existed. As a quick little segue, um, have you ever Game Boy Advance? I did have a Game Boy Advance. That thing, I dug mine out because I bought Minish Cap as on, on, I bought on pre-owned from America. I went to play Minish Cap You better not Game be Boy saying Advance. what I think you're going to say. Well, I adore the Game Boy Advance. Okay, my that's favorite right, consoles then, that's right. Of all time, but if you put it on now, you can't even see it. Yeah. It's from a time without backlights. There's no backlight on it and it does remind you that the uh, the Sega Game Gear had one advantage over the Game Boy and that was the fact you that it was... You didn't play the Game Gear. Did um, anyone play the Game everyone Gear? Everyone played the Game Gear for the full 15 minutes that those 17 <laughs> batteries that you had to put in allowed you. Yeah, I played Echo the Dolphin on the go. It was great. I was like, Good. ba da ba ba da ba I tried to play a little bit of Zelda but I can't even see I can't even see where I am. Could be yeah, Hyrule. Could it's be in a dungeon. I, I had a super... Game Boy Advance Ghost and Goblins right. and that was the hardest game ever not simply because of the fact that that game is hard as nails to begin mm. with but because of no backlight it meant that when <laughs> I was like travelling like with my family like on like, I don't know like a, a rural trip to France in the car or something like that and you just tell like I can't see what I'm doing <laughs> I hate this game all of that stuff that reminds me that's what I was going to say was I uh, took my Game Boy Advance out and yeah. I forgot that Nintendo did that whole tribal variation yeah. the, the Nintendo there's yeah. the Game Boy Advance SP with the weird little tribal things on that's if what? you want a, a, a trip down memory lane look Look up the Game Boy Advance SP with the Crash, tribal clans. Crash patterns. Bandicoot loved it as well. So Crashed he, it yeah, as well. He got, he got some on it. Kerry King. It's just they're all over the place with the different tribes. But so. the thing is, is that this Switch Lite doesn't have backlight, does it? 
Oh yeah, every, oh yeah, yeah. It's, does no, it? No, it does. It does. Okay, does. Every, right. Everything these days has the backlight. Okay. The, uh, the only thing, the only down, the, the big old negative for the Switch Lite, if you can get around all the motion controls and detachment stuff, the fact that you can't play it on your TV, for me, is the color schemes. Because we need to talk about the fact that you were you were sizing this up versus a pre-owned Switch. Yeah. Which yeah, I think is a worthwhile right. talking point for new Switch owners. Okay, so let's let's break it down. The fact that you can't take off the the Joy Cons for me, not a huge deal because mm. I would be annoyed if I bought that game solely to do multiplayer gaming because the whole point is you've got multiplayer. On the go doesn't yes. bother me. The thing that does bother me is not having a tip. Let me reel off some games and okay. see how much you care. How sure. much do you care about Nintendo Labo? Not that much. Do you don't want a cardboard piano? No, I've got enough time in my house as it is. You kind of do, but you have a little bit of cardboard. I, I have two Hammer. fully. I have two fully functioning rock band kits. Complete. <laughs> I do not need any more stuff. Uh, Super Mario Party. Um, I, it's a party at work, so I don't really care. Very good cover. Uh, one, two, switch. Don't ever get that. Uh, I don't know what that is. That was them trying to do the uh, the Wii Play, the Wii Sports, the the whole you know oh, mini like game Wii, collection. Wii Resort. Kind of, well, it's like it's that idea of a whole bunch of games in one little package, and they were like, the Switch can do everything the Wii oh, U no, can to do. To be honest, I, I would be a bit. The annoyed. idea of it was yeah, cool, yeah. but it was all invisible because it was all like, well, if the Switch is your main screen, then uh -huh. you have nothing else to sort of. I don't know. They had a whole thing where it was like invisible ping pong, and you were trying to like bat an invisible ball, and it just just That's, stay away from no, one two Switch. No, that it's uh, it's not what you want. What about the Just Dance series? Ooh, could not give a toss. Good. In that okay. case, you probably ought to get a Switch Lite based on the games <laughs> that you don't need to play. Anyway, what were you going to say? I was just going to say, like, the, the the other things that they've changed, you know, the Joy-Cons, you can't take them out. Uh, the no TV output, mm. that is a bit of an issue because I would look to do some streaming, like, on my personal mm. channel further down the line, and I would like to use the Switch, mm. but that wouldn't be an option seeing as there's no output for it. However... In terms of what I would use it for as a person who would just casually game on it, mm -hmm. um, because I do unfortunately have a PC and I have a PS4, and like I'm thinking of getting an Xbox One, I'll have all of that. Don't get an Xbox One. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm covered on most things. I only just want to play Mario Odyssey and uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, fair. Uh, we maybe also. maybe uh, Arms. Arms was one of the things that um, I had written. Someone had written, written down that you couldn't play Arms without the Joy Cons, but you can totally play it handheld. So yes, I don't know what they mean. Yes, that was what I was. Unless I'm just missing something. But yeah. like playing that game handheld is way better than the motion control version. Anyway, so whatever. Another thing to drop in before mm. we talk about aesthetics is that it's a hundred dollars slash pounds less. Yes, that is a huge, huge difference. That's mm. a that is a huge deal breaker for me because it's right. like you know a three hundred pound toy. For the, <laughs> I, and I'm only speaking from my personal reference. You collect it, figures, and so do I. But this is just because of the fact of what I use it for. I. I'm not the hardcore Switch mm. audience, uh, but for me, having it as a casual sort of like a handheld device, yeah, two hundred pounds is much more feasible for okay. me. That's especially, I, especially I know that it's going to be bundled. They're yes. going to do bundles with like games. There was somebody saying that you could pre-order it at the moment and get like a thirty-pound e voucher. So when you look at getting a game and an e voucher, mm -hmm. that's again reducing it down to maybe even like one hundred and eighty quid, one hundred and fifty quid in terms of the, what you're technically paying for the thing. So it, yeah, like are those the things that brought you back around on it? Because like, because you. Would you were waiting for like the perfect switch bundle and it's kind yeah. of been this is the thing that sort of swayed you because i guess it's a more focused package well it's i'm i am still gonna wait i'm gonna wait mm. until september rolls around and i start to see what people are shifting towards because what i might find is is that there are people that are willing to give up on their old switches and i'll be able to pick them up for the price i pay for a brand new right. switch light and therefore i would be getting in your own words the best switch that is available because well, it would have the tv output the detachable yes. joy cons choice of color and aesthetic stuff I, I, and be able to play all the games. I have to hope, because um, they've said that they're going to do a Pokemon-themed light, like with their Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah. I have to hope that they'll do better aesthetic choices than the ones that they're putting out. You said the grey uh, looks nice. I, this thing, I, it looks the, really lame. The, yeah, but I like, I like sort of just like neutral colour style stuff like mm. that. I think that's fine. I... Do you want a green one? I can't say... That I, I mean, I saw the uh, fan-made ones. The Some, SNES one looks great. The SNES, SNES one looks great, and yeah. so does the uh, Game Boy Advance one. They look amazing, and I think mm -hmm. that if they actually did put their heads together, they could easily come up with better designs. But I understand why they've gone for the sort of more like fine. Same, I think. Um, but yeah, for my like sort of general overall take, because like I said, when this got announced, I sort of went, oh, because it's it's always the case in the industry that if you hang on a bit, you'll get a better yeah, version yeah, of yeah, something. Yeah. Um, for me, I think they've managed to strike quite a good balance. Because if you look at the PS4 Pro or the Xbox mm. One X, um, those consoles are very much this is the most powerful console in the world. This is the step up that you need. This is the fourth yeah, thing. They, they etc. They were upgrades rather mm. than effectively what is a downgrade or a I sideways step at least. A side grade. I yeah. think this is more like a 3DS replacement. I think yeah. what they're trying to do is give you a new console 
console for the handheld market, mm. and they're trying to the switch is all crackers that it's trying to hybridize the two anyway. So it kind of feels like that's what they're doing. That like if you're gonna invest in the switch overall, I'd still recommend the bigger version. Yeah, the small the smaller screen and also the lighter carry size mm. definitely makes it more appealing for people who are like just playing the game on the travel. Mm -hmm. So again, I, I, I commute a lot. Like, like, like I go down, I go down to see my parents, and I go down to see like my missus, like mm -hmm. quite a lot. So I do actually see a huge appeal in having a handheld thing because at the moment my 3DS has has just had an absolute workout. And to be <laughs> honest, there's nothing on the library that I feel yeah. like is relevant for me anymore. I'd love to be able to play these Switch games. I also hope as well as like one of the final points or whatever. I absolutely, I just, I have to hope that mm. at some point they bring the virtual console back, um, yes. in a, in a more robust way than yeah. just the monthly offerings yeah. where they sort of chop and change stuff with NES games. Um, if they're gonna make something that's gonna supply plant the 3DS thing, because um, they just did the new 3DS that could play SNES games. Yes. Bring all that across if you're going to supplant the idea of the 3DS and do the Switch Lite, like like the Vita, and make it play literally everything. Yeah, it's, it's a straight open goal. I, I would say that there's a bigger argument at play here, which is Nintendo seeming to have launched this Switch Lite mm. without having the backup of the Switch Pro. If right. they were smarter, this is what you do. It's, it's, it's a really common thing that you'll notice in, in any sort of marketing. Mm. If you've got a product A, you want to sell that one. Sometimes what companies do is they actually make product B, which is actually a slightly inferior but cheaper right. version, and that way you capture both ends of the market. Because by giving a comparison between mm. what is good and what is bad in, in relative terms, mm -hmm. you therefore shift units for A for people going, well, I want the best one. Right. But you also shift units for B by, by, by people saying, oh, I'm not, the cheaper yeah, one. I'm not actually that bothered by that it. That might totally be the case, and this is just a way to revitalize the original Switch. But without announcing the, the Pro, the Pro I feel like they are missing out. That's because the bit. Switch right now is the Pro, baby. That is very true. Yeah. But I feel like they missed out on an opportunity to be like, hey, look, here's two new Switches and you can choose what it is. Mm -hmm. And it feels like you have control. It's, it's a smart smart move that I feel like Nintendo <laughs> dropped the ball on that one a little maybe, bit. Maybe we'll see, because I mean, that's the thing. There have been two additional SKUs rumored for mm -hmm. so long that assumedly at some point in the future, like for the near future, you'll see the Pro version or whatever it's yeah. meant to be, which will do 4K and everything else. I mean, to be honest, either way, at the end of this year, I will be picking up a Switch. And I would love it if you guys would recommend down in the comment section below which games I need to pick up. Make your essential Switch list so that I can tick them off. I mean, off I'll be shouting them at you from across the room I know that one of them is going to be anyway. shovel night. One of them is Shovel Knight, but you can get that anyway. Do you want to play it on PS4? You can get an Xbox One as well, and the Vita. So, do you want to get on your phone? They've got new <laughs> DLC out for it. I know they have. I know they have. <laughs> Sponsored by Shovel Knight. Well, not at all, I don't know really why, good. I don't know why you haven't reached out to Yacht Club and just actually said, like, look, just sponsor us. What, for what? Just anything. I don't want to be sponsored. I don't want to be take my opinions away. Anyway. I love it unconditionally. Anyway, there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching with us. Let us know what you think about the Switch and the Switch Lite, as well as if you're going to be picking it up. And again, I would love to see your top 10 recommendations of games that I should play on the Switch. I'm sure that Scott will detail a list. I'm pretty sure you've already done a list on What Culture Gaming about. I've done so many lists so, on the Switch. So if you need to check out any of them, you can go back to whatculture.com forward slash gaming so you can check out all of the Scott lists to the your heart's content. There's just a ridiculous amount at this point. Splatoon too. Very good. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, Phil's girlfriend, Mimin, was playing it on and off for about six months religiously. Yeah, yeah it's really good. It's good kids. If you want to follow us, you can do so at RetroJ with a zero for myself and for Scott. Oh, I'm over at slash LP89. Oh, yes, Ooh. he is. Oh, yes, he is. Thank you very much for joining us, guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.